Have you ever wanted to see a a large scale Chinese historical action film that had Roman centurions in China with one of them trying to protect a, a young prince from an evil general. Now throw in John Cusack and Adrian Brody and Jackie Chan. Now have John Cusack be the, the, the leader of the Centurions trying to keep the young prince safe from evil Adrian Brody while running into exiled peacekeeper Jackie Chan. John Cusack doesn't do an accent. So it's Chicago and John Cusack as a Roman centurion, leader of a, Roman, a leader of a, well, you know, essentially leading a, a centurion guard in China. Trying to keep a child safe from Adrian Brody and his army. Um, this film has got some good ideas to it. I like some of the, the, the thought processes and the way that it's kind of going. But it's got a really bizarre cast. Moments of its really great, strong dialogue. <clears throat> Especially when you have the, the, the Centurion Guard and they're in the and they're in the, the, the Chinese city. And they're working together to fortify it against the young up, upcoming army. And they're singing some of their different, you know, songs back and forth. And they're coming together as one culture. Those moments are actually really good, but then it's Adrian Brody fighting Jackie Chan in a sword fight. It's got moments where I come thinking, had it been anybody but John Cusack in that role, given his overall fate, Sean Bean would have been great. And I was like, when I saw this on Netflix, I went, you know, this is. John Cusack, Jackie Chan, Adrian Brody. Two of them as Romans. One as a Chinese peacekeeper in China. I, I have to watch this. It's different. I say watch this film for the fact that it's such a bizarre concept. It's got moments where you're like, this is a pretty solid movie. And other parts where that train comes off the tracks. And just... Plows right into a school for the blind. 